You wanna see daddy as a trans? <laughs> I'm looking in here at all the things that I've bought that we should try out in videos. And have sex with a sheep. Why did it go that direction? Good morning, you saucy little trinklet. Made from high-end Japanese yen. Oh. All right, I owe you, I owe, I mean, no one's watching, but I owe you an apology because I said yesterday that I would use this like press up machine. It's not machine, it's just a piece of plastic, but it's a weird thing. I said I would use that yesterday, but I didn't. So as soon as I get home, we're gonna use that. I also, for all the things that I noted down with the automation yesterday, I barely took off, I barely worked on any of them or I barely even noticed any of them. So I turned in my laptop to my work office about a week and a half ago now. And I just found the like, Bluetooth connector, the USB Bluetooth connector in my pocket. That's good. But I, so I, I must have the keyboard somewhere in my office. I don't know. Um, I also had the idea that I could very easily make a whole video in a day. And what if we do a week of just making videos in a single day? I'm talking like, we come up with the idea in the morning, we plan it out, edit and post same day. And do that for five days, you know, like a mini project. Okay, yes, I know you, you like that idea, don't you? Next up, uh, I... I don't know why I want to, uh, I do know why I want to do this. So we're getting kind of personal for a second or get, it's not personal, it's just weird. Um, my flipping nose hairs, I don't know what's wrong with them. I don't know what it is, but I, whenever I trim them, I, more often than not, I get like zits, pimples, whatever you call them, like up in here. I, tr I, I try disinfecting it as soon as I've done it, it doesn't work. So. I'm thinking we try waxing. Like I'll buy a, a nose waxing kit from Amazon and just see, that's gonna be so painful. But I feel like that would be funny. And maybe what I need to do instead of trimming. Good, I'm glad we spent like 30 seconds talking about my nose hairs. That's just what I wanted to do on a Thursday morning. Next thing was, uh, Export intros, export funny parts. No, no, no. I do. I need an accountant. I need to find an accountant. Uh, will I put time into that today? Probably not. Should I put time into that today? Yes. Unfortunately. Next one. Blue light lenses before bed. I've been wanting to do this for so long. Like I've heard it's really good for you. It's like if you're watching, which all of us do, watch right before bed. Wearing blue light lenses is meant to have a positive effect on your sleep. Well, I guess it's meant to reduce the negative effects of looking at blue light before you sleep. You, we get the idea. So I should try that, shouldn't I, one day soon. Next up, the magnesium tablets that Kenny and I were kind of briefly talking about yesterday. I need to start on those. I don't know why I haven't. Like this is one of those things where I'm like, okay, I need to plan out the video first, but actually I don't, because I need to take the tablets for like 30 days at least. Maybe we just start that today. Yeah, let's just start that today. Nose waxing kit. Um, I mentioned yesterday to Kenny about the idea of parking multiple cars around the city and see which one gets a parking ticket first. Like do it over several days. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just interested to see how parking tickets work. But Kenny's idea was to try it on different parking meters and see how likely you are to get caught. Like find the average time it takes to get caught with a parking ticket. Uh, I then have a partnered post coming up with a, um, like a, a massive power bank. My initial thought was it's not going to work out, but my initial thought was tomorrow is November 3rd, which is the old Fortnite map that comes back. And I was thinking I play Fortnite until I use up all the power on this thing. But I've, number one, 
the power thing isn't going to be here in time, unfortunately. So I had a different idea. There are two videos that I need to make, which are both partnered. So I'm thinking the first, this is my thought I had this morning. The first video, because it's meant to like charge really fast. So the first video is me sitting in an ice bath for as long as it takes to charge. Now I'm not a fan of ice baths, all right? So let's get that clear. And then the second video is a lead on from that, which is going straight into a like at home sauna. And you can buy them for like about a hundred dollars on Amazon. That's what I'm thinking. I think that would be like, I think those are good ideas. If done the right way, I think they could do very well. Especially for someone who doesn't really use ice baths. I've, I don't remember the last time I used an ice bath in college. So that's like almost a decade ago. Jeez. Um, next one. I don't even know what this means. Uh, I'm trying to work out if I should go in or not with the hesitation. I have no idea what that means. In or not with the hesitation. Bro, no comprende. Uh, I've got toilet bowls for hire. Oh, that was just a stupid one I put in. Go and cross the street, little buddy. Little kid trying to cross the street. Oh, yeah. I have an... Uh, this one. I remember... I remember telling Siri to write this down, but I don't remember the rest of it. Um, it's too hard to read while I'm driving through here, so... I'll read the rest when I do the press up thing in, in a few minutes. But the other, I do remember one of them now actually. The, what is it in America with the toilet stalls, the stalls, where there's a, a massive flipping gap? You could look in and see some dude wiping his cheeks. I don't understand. Why not just make it, you know, that much closer to that much closer together? I think everyone, no one likes that it's like this, apart from, you know, the flipping weirdos who like people watching them. That is such a weird thing, isn't it? Gosh. Well, I didn't expect to be talking about that this morning. But I did see this morning someone put toilet paper up in between the gap. So here's a nice video of that. Going. All right, let's go do the press up thing. This is it, this is the moment you've been waiting for. I should probably fix that, shouldn't I? All right, this thing. I didn't realize it actually comes with a friggin' training program. Oh sweet, I'm not gonna follow that. All right, let's um, Let's do this, okay? Let's bring you down here. You wanna come and have a watch? I bet you do, of course you do. Why wouldn't you? Oh, oh gosh, good skills. It was meant to go in there, so that was perfect. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. This is my challenge, right? We do 10 in each position, so this one goes here. Then it goes there, then there. How many positions are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, oh gosh, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16 positions. That means 160 push-ups. Bro, I'll be lucky if I can get 20. All right, you ready? 
Are you ready to rumble? Oh gosh, I'm in the wrong position. Get. Okay, ready? One, three, four. Okay, that was ten. Come on. Come on. It's the hardest part. I shouldn't do this. Straight, bloody hell. Straight after a arm workout, should I? That, yeah. I'm just, what was that? Oh, Shane needs me with the baby. Um, I have to, I have to go. So, I'm really sorry. All right, Oliver, cut the clip there. And, um, yeah, just cut it there. Okay, good job. Wow. Okay, I really don't have time. I've got to get into the, the piece of thing that I was doing. So, let's put this away for later. That was light work. Okay. Oh gosh. You know what? I should actually do a video every day. I try and get a couple more. Obviously I wasn't pushing myself as hard as I could do. I could probably have done like one or two more. <laughs> Uh, but she really, um, like a challenge of learning, not learning, but making myself strong enough that I can do all 16 positions in one go. Right, I'm looking in here at all the things that I've bought that we should try out in videos. So let's have a quick look. Oh yeah. Um, I forget the name of it now, but with a, I, I also forget the name of this, what the strong magnet is meant to be. And then a load of little magnets, like quantum levitating, I think is the term. Um, if you use nitrous, not nitrous oxide, dry ice to make this magnet super cold and put these in a ring, this magnet should float on top of these. I just haven't got around to it. I did find that there's literally a grocery store where you can go and buy dry ice. I called them up. I said, do I need to do anything? Do I need to order it? That just seems weird to me that you can buy dry ice. Uh, next one. Should we just pick, pick one of these to do? This, you know, every now and again, I'll come in here and I'll organize this. Here is a, <laughs> here's a pack of Oreos I bought for a video because they're mega stuff and I guess I've just been eating them one by one. <laughs> so now they're gone. But that's also a good prop box. Like if I'm making a shot where I'm kind of like a, uh, a reject, I can have a pack of these next to me so I will keep that. I'm like a flipping boomer hoarder, aren't I? Oh yeah! I did! I did, I did, I did! Make a... I, I wanted to try and teach myself how to be ambidextrous. I'm getting inklings that Rugi, my son, <laughs> is left-handed. And so I want to be able to learn how to be left-handed so that I can teach him or help teach him if he does turn out to be left-handed. That monster baking paint by numbers. I think I, I actually, yeah, I did this for a, um, what was the video? It was colorblind video. It's like, how does the coloring look? And honestly, not brilliant. I got, I got a text.
All right, if I, I just talk through some more of my ideas, I've got Fiji water, I've got smart water, so, yeah, smart water and life water. And I wanted to try, I'll put all of these out, including tap water and see which one my dog prefers. I'll do it over like a week period and just see which one she prefers drinking from. Like if she tastes a difference and likes one over the others, which is actually why I bought all these um, blink cameras because I was going to set one up above the bowl and then I was like, you know what would be really cool is having a load of these around the house so that we can capture the moments, like the family moments that if they're not filmed you would just kind of forget about and you wish that you'd film them. So if we have the, those up around the house then you can capture everything. That was a couple of months ago and I just haven't gotten around to it, so I should do that, shouldn't I? Let's start there for now. And then we'll, um... I, did, I think I did actually write down one that I wanted to do today. Show. Sure. Go back to me notes. Uh, what am I going to do with anger, Fortnite? Oh yeah, this is it. So I was walking the dogs, I think this was two nights ago now. And I realized that, like if you're watching this, you're actually, it sounds douchey again. You're watching someone who makes TikToks for a living and is trying to branch out into a completely new platform and trying to figure that out. So it's kind of like a the journey of trying to do this and like on a day-to-day -day basis of how we do that. I think, I know, I, I think that's quite cool. <laughs> uh, and I thought like that realization for me was kind of interesting. Like, cause I'm, I'm trying to figure out why someone, why like, if you're watching this, why you would enjoy watching it. Um, I forgot the most important part of the makeover video. Oh yeah. So I was editing the vlog of the second to last part of the laundry room makeover. And the, like, the whole crisis of the video, what am I doing, let's go over here. The whole crisis of the video was the fact that I needed help from my wife, okay? To put the flipping, the tabletop up. But my dumbass forgot to put in the actual shot of her helping me put the table in. Like, that's not why the video hasn't done well, but I can't believe I forgot that. Next one. Uh, yeah, we should try... I saw that Google have a new interview tool. So we should give that a go today. Um, whoops. That's it. Oh no, we had, did I have some that I didn't? No, that was it. That was it, some good bits. Yeah. The sucrosomial magnesium, should we let's go pop some pillies? I just, I don't know. That's a stupid thing to say. Sucrosomial magnesium. Oh, it's freaky fresh. All right, directions are serving size two capsules. Capsules. Yeah. Down the hatch. Oh my gosh, I feel friggin', I feel so strong right now. I could probably knock out maybe three more of those push-ups. 
Yeah. Yeah, I, so this morning, I was meant to finish off the... I, for the past, I think we're on... I'm editing day 25 or 26. I think day 26 at the moment, which means we've been doing this for 26 days, which is awesome. And every morning up until today, I have edited the whole video before I go to the gym. But this time, I must have forgotten to copy over the audio from the microphone. So I was like, you know what? If I don't go to the gym now, I probably won't go to the gym and I'll come back and add in the audio. So I'm gonna do that now. And then I think we try the, the Google interview tool. I'm kind of interested to see what that looks like. Yeah, let's do that. I am trying to think of a concept for a video. So, excuse me, it's a self-flying drone and essentially it just like it can follow you around and do a bunch of things so i'm trying to come up oh dear with a decent idea for that i think i have i got two ideas out the gate one is to um make like an obstacle course and see if it can find me or just like being out in the woods and seeing if it can follow me through the woods then Another is like using it to live in third person. So I would wear goggles that have the video feed from the drone to my goggles. And then I just try doing certain things like using that as my vision, which I quite like that idea. I just don't know if it has a feed to a phone yet because it's like it's fully automated. You just you launch it off the palm of your hand and then it does the rest. And then my third option is to like see if I can, I don't know if outrun it is the right word, but be on like an electric skateboard or electric bike or rollerblades or something and see if I can get away from it. Those are three concepts I have. I don't know which one is best. Perhaps none of them. I think, I feel like third person is better. I know it's one of the ways I'm trying to think about this is people think that drones are amazing and super hard to fly. The number of times I've been out flying and people have said, oh my gosh, how are you able to do that? I'm like, the drone literally does it all for you. It's it's all the drone. It's not me <laughs> for certain types of drones. And this one is literally all the drone, 100% the drone. So how do I play into that with the normal person? Like it's a game of hide and seek. Yeah. If I could play a game of hide and seek with it. I feel like that would be cool. I'm not quite sure where I would film it yet, but that I think could be could I think that is the video that would capture the most attention out the gate. Should write that down, shouldn't I? Um, what was it? Game of hide and seek. Yeah, I think I like that idea. Or like, I feel like that would be super easy because I could just dart behind a wall. But what if I did it on a hoverboard? Hmm. 
Hmm. I, like, one of the concepts I have is like making a full video without my hands, but I just, I don't see that, like that kind of title is something that people will want to stick around on. I think it has to be more of a game of getting away from it. I think that's the fun way to go about it. Let's go with that. I had a couple of things that need to be done today. Like I need to return things to Home Depot, Target. Shay's going to go to Hobby Lobby and return the things and she's going to buy more things for decorating. And then I have to shape these crocs that I've got down here. So I realized when I bought my first pair of Crocs, I should also say this too. When I was growing up, I had that phrase. Crocs were like the most embarrassing thing. You were an absolute loser if you were wearing Crocs. And now I wear my Crocs every day, like for walking the dogs. And this is now my third pair. My second pair with a Shrox. Look at those bad boys. <laughs> but yeah, the I think you um, you put these in the wash the dryer for a couple of minutes. Wear two pairs of socks and get them to sort themselves out around your feet. So you know what. Let's just go and let me let me Google that right now. How how to shape Crocs? Put them in the dryer, and while they are tossing, put on two pairs. I don't know how long to put them in for, but. Let's go try, let me send, let me send this concept and then we'll go upstairs and try them. I've been accosted. You want to see me in this, Rugi? I've been, I've been given a wig to put on. All right, you want to see what I, blow my neck. You want to see what I look like? You want to see daddy as a trans? Okay. Ready, Rooks? Woo! Arrgh. What do you mean, ew? How dare you? This, yeah, this is really nice. How do I look, Rooks? Do I look good? Come here. Does daddy look funny? Do I look funny? Yeah! <laughs> you give me a kiss. What is it? Where are we off to? Yeah. Oh, do you want to put my Crocs in the dryer, Rugs? Can you put these in the dryer? Can you take this one, please? Sorry? Why are you putting them in the You meant to do that for them to fit better? Rugi, and another one. Three pairs of Crocs. The other ones have had their day, and these are quite comfy to wear walking the dogs. I'm embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> you put them in the dryer? Uh. Yeah, okay, good job. Good job using your words, mister. Okay, open the door. What is that in there? Oh. Good job, Mr. Ruger. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's get this out. Is that your bed sheet from where you peed it, your sausage? Okay. All right, shut the door, please. This is awful to wear. Oh, that goes on your bed, doesn't it? You want to take it to your bed? Hey, you want to take it to your bed? 
Good job. Go put it on your. Oh, this is awful. Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? What are you doing? Hey, come start the dryer. <laughs> Rugo, leave that, please. Leave it. Leave it. Oh my gosh. Leave it. No, no, no. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> are you. you <laughs> Can you, you turn the dryer on? Can you shut the door for me, please? Thank you. All right, you turn it on. Push, push, push. Good job. Nice. <gasps> What's happening? Uh, no, we don't need the other one, just this one. Can you hear it? That's noisy, isn't it? Has who? Uh, yeah, this morning she was super annoying, but other than that, she's been okay. Rudy, I need another pair of socks. Where are my socks, mister? I can't do with this. That hurts. Ew! <laughs> Uh, should we get some socks? Oh, can you get me some socks from the box? Some of Daddy's socks? Okay, come on then. Alright, up here, come on, Rugs. Can you grab a pair of these, please? Grab a pair of those. Go on in, go grab a pair. Good job. Alright, let's take it down to the dryer. Good boy. Keep going down. Good job, Rooks. Yeah, can you bring it over here? All right, the rule was wear two pairs of socks. I don't know why, but... What are you doing, Lydas? What are you doing, Lydas? Come here, Rookies. Thank you, Rooks. Can you help me put them on? Lila, good girl. Oh dear. Pull, pull, pull. Oh, aren't they so soft? Oh, goodness, you alright? <laughs> okay, let's put them on. Oh my gosh, Ruger. You trying to wear my Shrek croc? My shrock. Oh, get out of my swamp. What are you doing? What are you doing? Good job. Come here, smart boy. What, lift your foot up. Well done. Oh, yeah. What the heck? Yeah, let me put my socks on. I, this morning, this one's good. That one, put on the, I, I just brought two left feet. Tuda, over here, please. Come here, Tuda. Come here. Good girl. Moogie. Tuda, move, over here. Over here. Good girl. I love the feel of new socks. I was thinking about doing a TikTok, which is just a week. No, 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 leave that there, please. Which is just a week of wearing two pairs of socks. Rugi, leave it, please. Ruga, no. Gosh, you gotta break the screen off. Come here. Oh, c can you get my shoes out the dryer? Can you open the dryer, please? Pull, pull, pull. Here. Like, I'm filming if you're okay with it. Oh. I'm gonna cover this. You can grab my shoes. Oh, thanks. Can you grab my shoes? Or is it hot? It's not too hot. Two twenty, and it was so heavy. Two 
I spent instead of spending like three hundred, I spent thirty on the wood. Yeah, <gasps> Rugi, these actually feel really nice when they're all warmed up. Rugi, can you gritty with me? Can you gritty? Do a gritty. Gritty. Oh, you can do Naruto, can't you? Naruto, baby! Do it, Naruto, baby! <laughs> Whoa! Do, do the wig. Do Naruto, baby! What are you doing with the wig? Hey, run, go Naruto, baby. Naruto, baby! <laughs> hey, come over here. Go, Naruto, baby! Naruto, baby! Dad. Hey, should we Naruto baby together? Uh, yeah? All right, ready? Go. Naruto baby! Naruto baby! Your turn. Come over to me. Naruto baby! Naruto baby! You crazy boy. When, um, I only know of Naruto because it, of the trend on TikTok. And then when he was younger, I don't know why, he would just run with his arms out backwards. Yeah. Cool, isn't it? <laughs> uh, and now, like, when he used to do that, I would shout Naruto baby, and then I would do it too. And now he loves it. <laughs> no, don't, he's gonna stop recording, aren't you? Are you gonna stop recording? Can you press the big red button? Up here. Press that button. All right, here's the deal, so, um, I mentioned the Google interview thing. So I found it's called interview warm up. So I'm going to share my screen. Interview warm up. Google. There you go. Google interview warm up. All right, let's see. Let's see what comes out of this. A quick way to start practicing. Let's do project management. Oh gosh. Answer five interview questions. Sure, allow. Hi, let's practice an interview for project management. What are you looking for in your next job? The ability to drink from a chocolate teapot whenever I'd like. Okay, thanks. The ability to drink from a chocolate teapot whenever I'd like. Good, okay. Thanks for your answer. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, got it, all right. Great, next question. Tell me about a time you had to deliver on multiple competing priorities. What did you do and what were the results? A bit nosy, really, isn't it? Tell me about a time you had to deliver on multiple competing priorities. Uh, I asked the appropriate stakeholders which is higher and lower priority, and based on that, picked which of those is the higher priority. Yeah, sure. Okay, thanks. Welcome. In, I, in my opinion, two things cannot, if you have a list of priorities, right? Two things cannot be the same priority if there's only one resource working on it. It just, that's not possible. Like, because then, like if you have eight hours in a day to work on these two competing priorities, what you're saying is spend four hours on this one, four hours on that one. You're not gonna spend eight hours on both of these at the same time, that's stupid. Imagine you're in charge of a project to increase the number of users for a new, no-cost email service. What would you put in place to track and measure the project's success? You're in charge of... The, okay, so the project... to increase the number of users for a new email service. How would I measure that? I feel like this is a weirdly worded question. Imagine you're in charge of a project to, maybe it's not, to increase the number of users for a new 
email service. Uh, first thing I'm thinking of is signups. Uh, daily active users. How many emails are sent or received? Okay. I don't even remember what three those were. Um, track the number of signups, the number of daily active users, and how many emails are sent or received from valid accounts. Got it. Thanks. You are. You're so welcome. Next Tell me question. about a time when you had to act quickly but didn't have a lot of data to inform your decision. What did you do and what was the outcome? Oh, gosh. I don't really have much to go on here. I think I'm going to have to take my time. See, that's punny. That's very punny. It's pro that's not even punny, is it? That's just... And it's not even funny. Uh, tell me about the time when you had to act quickly but didn't have a lot of data to inform your decision. I spoke with the people, the stakeholders, the result or outcome would most impact and made a decision based on the information provided to me there and my previous experience. Got it. Thanks for sharing. Welcome again. Last How question. Did you describe your working style? Oh. Cool, calm, collected, and super handsome. Got it. Thanks. <laughs> End. All right. Congrats. You did it. Let's review. Uh... Use the insights button to learn more about your answers. Try to reflect on what you said from the perspective of an interviewer. Identify what you'd like to improve. Okay. Where? Use the insights button. What's the insights button? I'm not stupid, am I? Well, yes, but I can't see it. Background question. That's the question. My answer. Oh, they're looking for terms used. Okay, that's kind of a good tool for someone going back into this. Interesting. Okay, so let's look at the most uh, on competing priorities. The situation you're in, oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. So not enough information in my answer. Well, it's a good job I'll never go back into project management. <laughs> okay, let's stop that. Well, are there any others? Yeah, confirm, I don't want to save that. I have no idea about this, all right? Hi, let's practice an interview for digital marketing and e-commerce. What do you enjoy about marketing analytics? I hate numbers, so not much. Got it. Thanks for sharing. Can you please tell me a bit about yourself? No, don't be so nosy. Thanks for sharing. Welcome. When do you try to push through and solve a problem on your own? And when do you involve others on your team? I don't know. That seems like a lot of work, so I'd ask someone else to do it. Got it. As a marketer, how would you ensure your marketing goals are aligned with the main goals of the business? Ask someone to give me marketing goals that are aligned with the main goals of the business. That's Thanks smart. That. That's smart. Tell me about a time when you had to develop a new skill. 
How did you approach the learning process? No, sorry, that's need to know information. So you don't get that. Got it. Thanks. Welcome. So I think I nailed that. Yeah, it's a shame it doesn't give you the result. You've been like, yeah, you killed it. Because that's, I mean, that's the only result I can imagine that comes out of that, really. Kind of a cool tool, but... Not the most amazing. Alright, stop that. Okay, I think... This isn't a sentence I'll say very often. I think we're going to pick up the firearm, but... I... My wife hates Crocs, okay? But I'm going to make her... I'm going to stick these in the dryer so they get all gummy. And then I'm going to ask her to put them on and let her see how comfortable she thinks they are. She despises these. If she had an ick for me, if I had an ick... Like if there was something that I was an ick, I don't know how I'm saying this, it would be that I have Crocs. So <laughs> let's go see what she uh, does with them. There's a load on already. Show it in. Dude, I'm gonna roast you if these come out and you're like, actually, those are really comfy. You're getting roasted. You don't think that's gonna happen? Almost guaranteed. Wow. Rugi, what are you doing? I'm keeping the, I'm keeping this here away from you because. You're a chump. All right, leave it, Ruga, please. Oh, get, get back, you sausage. Get back! Hey, yeah, I know. I know, I know. <laughs> Why do you keep staring at the screen, mister? Come here. You've got yogurt all around your mouth, you sicko. All right, your socks are quite thick, aren't they? You don't have socks. I don't have socks somewhere. Uh, you can wear mine here. Oh, I took them off. Ew. Oh, Lila, nice. Get your butthole on the screen. Hi, Duda. Hello. No, I'll just shake them again. All right, do you want to bring them out? Once you're done with your socks. All right, this Ruga, you're about to see your mum switch from an ick to. Mm -hmm. Dad. Dad. Oh, dad. Dad. What do you want over there? All right. Dad. All right, stick your feet in deep. What am I supposed to be feeling? What, do, they don't feel nice to you? I feel like it just feels like any other time I put your Crocs on. They don't feel like gummy and warm. I mean, the warmness feels really nice. They don't feel like gummy, like they're like wrapped around your feet. No. Oh, you've got skinny ass feet though, don't you? Yes, dad. dad. So no, that's, dad. that was... What if we get some of your size? Would you like a screwdriver? Yes. Well, go on then. <laughs> oh, sport mode? Just give them a quick try. Are you going to do some laps? <laughs> Check if they make you speedy. Naruto, baby! <laughs> Go chase mummy. Oh, I'll take this. Go chase mummy with Naruto, baby. Go Naruto, baby. Okay, you can't run around with that. Okay, no, no, no. Alright, let me stop this for now. Do you have any idea what day it is? Do I have? Yeah, I do. Um, I don't know what the start of that was, but I've got the world's mintiest chewing gum. It, first the explosive mint blast, then comes the flavor. So I thought let's make this run to Hobby Lobby, Home Depot and Target a little bit more interesting. So yes, I have had it before, but it was like a year ago. Oh gosh, like I really like, it's, it's nice to be able to put a pair of balls in your mouth, or a single ball, and not feel like someone's gonna get upset, you know? Right. 
Jinkies. <gasps> I forgot. Oh. It's who? Oh. Drink some water. You can feel it in your throat. Oh. Immediately regret that decision. That was very silly. I mean, it's minty, it's very minty. The freshness in my mouth. I was actually thinking, I bought these with the intention of trying them with loads of different types of things that you should never have after like brushing your teeth, for example, like freezing cold water, uh, orange juice, let's try lemon juice. I have a list somewhere in my notes of all the things to try with this. It's, um, like it hurts just above, like a little bit further back and above the roof of my mouth. I've, I, I don't know much about science, but I would argue that you could definitely get something mintier. So some good news and bad news. One, the video that all of the, the laundry room video, I'll explain it again, that it, it was like a, a semi-partners post. So TikTok has this program, I think it's called the TikTok Creativity Program Buzz Campaign or something. So the way it works is a company or a brand will set up a campaign. They'll choose the type of um, creators that they want to make videos for it and then it becomes a campaign that's available to the creator who can then look at the requirements and decide if they want to make a video or not. And so typically, this pays at a $15 RPM, which means for every thousand views, you get paid $15. So you get a thousand views, $15. You get 10,000 views, you get $150. And they also quite often have a $100 bonus if you're within the first 10 or 100 people to get approved. So it's kind of a gamble and there's normally a budget. It's like in this case, it was $25,000. And that is a budget for all of the people that have been sent this invite to make a video for this. So it normally gives you like a week before the campaign is about to go live. So it gives you a week to prepare your video. And this one was only four days. Anyway, the video concept that I thought would fit is to redo the laundry room. And the video only got like 12 and a half thousand views. So pretty, like, in comparison to my normal stuff, pretty trash. And the campaign just finished, which means there are a couple of creators that did very well with their videos and got paid a large chunk of that 25,000. So I only made $183 from the campaign plus the additional $100 from the bonus for being one of the first ones to get approved. So we'll call that $300. My expenses were about, like with all of the drills and all that, those power tools, about 250, right? Now the power tools and stuff, yeah, I'll need those anyway for other things, so I need those. Those are good to have, but they're still an expense on this one. So up what you would call $50. Still not fantastic. Oh dear. Bit of a crash here in the middle of the road. Wonder who was at fault. Would you like to see it? Of course you would. You want in on the gossip, don't you? Look at that. Oh, I'm sorry guys. That does suck, that really does suck. I would show you the people, but I wouldn't show you the people. I said I could show you the people. So yeah, it's not, it wasn't, it wasn't great. Um, it would have been nice to make a bigger chunk of change, especially with how much effort I put into it, but effort doesn't equate to value in this world.
which I have no complaints about. I think someone would try to argue with me recently, try to argue with me as if like, there's no way you could defeat me. <sighs> they were saying, let, let's, let's use professional athletes as an example. A, you know what, we'll go controversial, we'll say men's versus women's athlete. You would say, like, let's say they both put in the same amount of effort, same amount of hours, same restrictions on their life, etc. They are the same, they're just men and women. Right? Why does a male make far more than a female in sports? Like, it's purely because of the value that they bring. So, in this case, men bring more value because people watch more people watch it as a form of entertainment and the women just don't bring in as much value because less people want to watch it and that is no different in my opinion to one of my videos if it wasn't a good video and people didn't enjoy it then i didn't bring that much value to someone whereas if i did bring a lot of value to someone then you should see that in a large uptick of views I don't know, honestly, I think the men versus women sports debate on who should be paid what is a ridiculous debate. I think it's so clear why men should be paid more at, their, at the current state of men's versus women's sport. And that's like nothing against women's sport. Do I, I mean, I'll say this, do I love watching women's sport? No. Like, I don't think there have been Aside from watching my wife in college play basketball, I don't think I would choose to go and watch a woman's sports game. I may enjoy it while I'm there, but it hasn't piqued my interest to the point that I would go. Now I don't, I know there are gonna be people who would hear that and be like, oh, that's disgusting, what a, uh, I don't know, <laughs> misogynistic pig. I don't even know if that's the right word. <laughs> like, why can't we all, like, why can't we have our own opinions on these things? I feel like my opinion's right. You feel like your opinion is right. By the way, I know I indicate late when I'm driving. I do it for two reasons. One, I would, I would only indicate late because there's no one else around me that would need that indication of where I'm going. And the reason I don't indicate as, normally, as early as I normally would is because it's kind of annoying to hear on the audio. Like my wife teases me that I put my indicator on too early or like driving through country roads, I'll indicate where I'm turning next and there's like no one for about a thousand miles. Slight exaggeration, but my wife does live in the middle of nowhere. Sorry. Her family mit live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> she lives with me now. <sighs> okay. All right, I'm gonna go in. Oh, okay, dude. Self-awareness is way up. All right, I'm gonna go return this and I'll be right back. All right, you get ready for this because I just came up with it as I was coming back to the car. So I got three of these because they were cheap. All right, ready? One thing about me is that I'm kind of cheap. I got some blink cameras because they were three for 60. I'm returning the old ones because I'm a creep I just want to save money and have sex with a sheep. Why did it go that direction? You see, I, I, I felt it going that direction. I don't know what happened last minute, but I, I made this decision in my mind. I was like, yeah, that's okay, go with it. But seriously, I'm actually, there are times I'm actually kind of cheap. Where I bought, I bought one of these for, 
some video a while ago. And then I bought three more because I was like, these would be cool to have around the house. And then, like I said, I never got up to putting them, I never got round to putting them up. But because they're Amazon products, you can return them for up to a year or something. So I'll return those and instead of paying a hundred and something, I'll now only pay like 60. I feel like I saved way more than that. I think I bought them for 35 each. So I bought four at 35 each and that's 120, 30, 40 dollars, isn't it? I think, I think yes. And now, 35 plus 40, 75 is what I bought four for now. So yeah, I saved like 60-ish dollars. That is a win. I saw this video of like, girl logic with money. And it was like, if you return something, that means you're getting free money. You're earning money. <laughs> if you buy food for everyone in the group and they all Venmo you, that's money you're making. <laughs> that's funny, I like that. Okay. Let's head back into Tajay. I'm not going to film in here either, so don't expect another wrap as freaking genius as the one that you just had, because that was it, I'm tapped out for the week. I don't know how to tell you this other than I'm evolving, I'm getting better, okay? Hear me out on this one. In target, returning an item or two, and the lava lamp, the glitter lamp, shows up and the register as A&W root beer. So I'm looking at the guy and he's looking at the screen trying to work out what's going on. And in my head, the, 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 the comedic genius in me is brewing, okay? I'm thinking, oh, I got something good here. So comes up in my head, it's uh, oh, I think I'd rather drink that than this. Night and I'm thinking, yeah, that's good. And I, I take another look at the guy. And I'm like, I'm like, what the hell? Why that person's parked in front of the, literally in front of the front door of the store, and there's like a big, big walking area. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Give him a look. He's still looking at the screen, now, and I read the situation well. I've read it now. This guy's, this guy's not there for jokes. So I held it in, I composed myself, and saved myself the embarrassment, wow. That's a pat on the back. By the way, flavor in this, it, there's still a slight flavor, and I've been out now for about half an hour, maybe a little bit more. But not enough flavour that you'd be like, mmm, I would like another piece of that. I don't know if I'm the only one, it'll be interesting to know what you think about this. I'm always looking for efficiencies in the way I'm doing things. like. Can I, like let's say today I had to go to both Target and I had to go to Home Depot. That's not that much, but I'm trying to work out to myself. I'm like, which is the best route do I, that I take? And I know where I need to go in the store. Where's the best route to get to each point? Versus just being like, okay, I need to go to these two places. I'll just go to whichever one I feel like going to first. Do you do that? Just me. Also, <laughs> we're picking up a firearm today. We have one, and... Like, I know there's like a lot of jokes about how easy it is to get a gun over here. And then there's all the jokes about why do Americans even have guns? And I think...
I think the majority of Americans have firearms for like the recreation of it, just going out shooting as something to do, like in a very safe environment. And then they have guns for protection in their homes. Because you know, like in this country, if someone's gonna break into your house, it's highly likely that they have a gun. So the decision then is, am I willing to give them an advantage of having a firearm versus not? And I'm not saying that means you live in fear the whole time. But it, it's there to protect your family. Like, it, stay in a lockbox, won't be touched, you know, other than to be cleaned and make sure it's ready. And like me, I don't, I don't think I'd shoot to kill, right? I, that, seems, that seems wild to me. I would be aiming for a leg and probably end up hitting a, a painting in next door's house or something. But yeah, my view is like in England, if someone's gonna come into your house, they're probably armed with a knife just in case something goes wrong. And to me, that's no different than a firearm in the States, just like the stakes are increased. Yes, it's easier to get away from a knife than it is from a gunshot. It's like that phrase, you brought a knife to a gunfight and you just look like a pleb. <laughs> All right, so anyway, the point I was making was she ordered it on Monday and she went and did like the background checks and whatnot and they've been doing that for the past two or three days. And then it's ready. I just got a voicemail, voicemail saying, hi, your firearm is ready to be picked up. And so now we can just go into the store and just get the gun. Which I know is, from someone who's not American, is wild. And I remember when I first came here, like, it, you know, school shootings were still kind of a crazy taboo, and they only happen because America allows guns. But for anywhere, and for probably, I'd say there's maybe 15 to 20 instances I've had in my life of being around a firearm in terms of like going to a gun range or going out shooting with friends not like that's something I do all the time or actually buying one in store and the there's one thing that's true across the board across all those experiences of mine that safety is the primary concern Like, you, people, they make fun of it over here, but I actually think, I think it's, the people who do own, yeah, guns are pretty well controlled. That's not, that's not a fair statement to me, because I don't know, from my experience, the people who have guns are controlled. Right, it's so like just the people that I know that have been around them. Well. That was quite a topic. We went from making a rhyme where I said I would have sex with a sheep to talking about picking up a firearm. Now, well, welcome to the channel where you can get anything your heart desires. I'm gonna leave my car out and I think I'll blow out the garage a bit later. Let me, I mean, clean it like with the leaf blower. Right, cool. Uh, Let's go in. Literally just gotten back down here to finish up. My wife just shut it down. She said uh, she went to a shop earlier today and did give, uh, let Rugi try on some Crocs. And she's like, they actually look really cute. But then she finished it all off with, on him. Right, right well, I think I'm gonna go pick up a gun. All right. Let's see it tomorrow. Tomorrow is November 3rd, Fortnite day. The OG Fortnite. Might just, might just game for a few hours. Might also need to do the shaving video. I haven't been doing the Daily Planner, have I? You know what? 
the next clip you'll see will be me a few hours from now and I'll come and do it because we're about to go out. So we'll get the daily planner done. No time like the present. <laughs>